fam, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. For today's video, I have this eye makeup look. I found this picture on Pinterest, I believe, and I fell in love with the eye makeup look, and I decided kind of to like recreate um, her eye look. I definitely have, uh, you know, hazel eyes, not blue eyes, but I fell in love with the look and the days that I saw it, and I wanted to recreate that. So before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe in the little button down there, and let's get started. I found this picture on Instagram, no I think it was Pinterest, and I just love the eye look that she's wearing, it's like super orangey and I think she has a little bit of red on her lids, um, and I wanted to recreate that today, I'm not sure where I found this picture actually, and I feel so bad because obviously you know, her makeup it's bomb, but I'm going to try to recreate it today because I love how that looks, and I'm going to be using two palettes by Morphe. And then I'm going to be using the 3502 palette, which is this one, and unfortunately I broke my black one. I'm going to be using the 350M, which was, um, I think, released like two years ago. Um, this one right here. And I'm obviously just going to be using like the oranges and the reds. And yeah, I'm going to be linking these palettes if they're still available down below. I'm going to zoom you guys in so we can get started with this makeup tutorial. You don't necessarily need to use the shadows uh, or the palettes that I'm using today. Just use whatever um, palettes you have to recreate this look, like orange look. So I'm going to take this orange right here and with a really fluffy color, this color, with a really fluffy brush, this is Morphe M533. I'm going to grab that and start blending it on my crease. So I just filmed um, my first impression on the It Cosmetics Matte um, CC Cream. And I think this video is going to be up, but when first up. So I'm going to, um, I'll link it down below as soon as the It Cosmetics is up as well. Um, I've been catching up on Shanix So and she's engaged now and I'm so happy like I wanted to cry when she posted that video and I was like she well I like follow her page and it said like she got engaged and I was like what where's the video and yeah I watched that video and almost cried um, and her ring is so pretty from the uh, 3502 I'm gonna take the color um, a blaze which is a deeper orange which is this one right here and I'm gonna apply that on top of that orange. I'm gonna take that on a Morphe M441 and put it on top of that first transition color. And always try to have a clean, like fluffy brush. I love my Sigma um, E40. And I always clean, um, like have it clean so that I'm able to like blend my edges. And then from the James Cheers palette, I'm going to take the color 518, which is a bright orange. This palette is huge. Um, just because I want a little bit more, um, I want a crease a little bit more brighter in that sense. So I'm just going to put that on top. Yes, that's perfect. So I'm just going to blend that with the same um, M441 that we had a blaze. So I'm just going to take that 518 from the James Charles and apply it on my crease and okay so now i'm gonna go in at the on the 3202 and taking the color of blaze with the same um brush and apply it on top. And I'm using like circular motions to blend this. Taking that clean E40, using wiper shield motions, so back and forth. Just taking it a little bit, and this is a Morphe E25, no, E35. And just putting it a little bit more 
on the top of my, like right below my um, brow bone. Now I'm gonna take a reddish color. So from that 3502 palette, I'm gonna take this red, which is called Brave. And I'm gonna apply that with a flat shader brush. This is a Morphe M167. And I'm just gonna pack pack the color like that and then make sure that I am um, tapping the excess and then I'm gonna apply that on my lid. And I'm just patting it, I'm not like brushing it, I'm just patting the color. Now I'm gonna move in with the James Charles palette and I'm gonna put the color You're Kidding, which is a more like um, muted red and I'm gonna place that on top. Now I'm gonna take that um, 518 color from the James Charles palette and apply it on my lower lash. This is a Sigma E25. And I'm just gonna blend that really close to my lower lash line. A little tiny of that red, which is You're Kidding. And I'm going to place it really close to my lower lash line. On my, um, yeah, lower lash line. And then for my inner corner highlight, I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Amrezy, um highlight. And I'm going to apply that to my inner corner. I found the um, Peaches and Cream Instagram through, yeah, Instagram, and they sell the prettiest pigments I have seen in my life. They're based on the UK, and I cannot wait to place an order because, oh my god, the pigments look so amazing. That's one of the reasons why I want to get more on, like, creative makeup because it looks so pretty. It looks so gorgeous. I'm going to play a little bit on my brow bone. I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of mascara. I'm gonna apply my lashes with uh, which I'm gonna be using the um, these are the Cell and Perfect Wispies 614s. Uh, if you've seen my previous um, videos, these are like my favorite holy gray lashes. I'm gonna put a little bit of white liner on my lower lash line, and this is the NYX Retractable, Retractable Eyeliner. And I'm just gonna clean it a little bit, and I'm gonna place this on my waterline and now I'm gonna just put a little bit of mascara on my lower lash line This is the finished eye makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I decided to pair up with just simple lip gloss and I used my favorite Fenty Beauty um, gloss balm and this is just the original one. And I just wanted to do like super simple lips. You can definitely go a little bit bolder. I was actually trying to find a orange uh, lipstick, kind of like matched my eyes, but I couldn't find any. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe in the little button down there. As always, the products that I use in this video are going to be linked down in the description box, as well as all of my social media. And until then, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!